If you're planning to buy a home, a home inspection is something you're going to need to know about. It is different from an appraisal, and it's a question I often get. Liz, what is a home inspection, and what's an appraisal, and do I need them both? Are they required? In this video, we're going to break down what a home inspection is, if you need one, how much they cost, all the things that have to do with a home inspection, and then we're going to also talk about an appraisal, which is completely different. Number one, home inspection. Now, as a buyer, you're going to want to buy a house that, well, suits your needs and, and is in a certain condition. And the way that we figure that out is after you go pending on a house, you as a buyer, if it's negotiated in the contract, can do a home inspection. Now, this is a cost that you are going to pay outside of your loan. So loan costs are one thing and a home inspection cost is something different. This is going to be an out-of-pocket cost that you pay the home inspector directly at the time or right before the home inspection actually happening. Now depending on what market you're in, what area you, you live in, and the house you're buying, the home inspection cost is going to be different. If you have a smaller house versus a larger house, if your house has outbuildings, if your house has other things, meaning if you're going to do a radon test, if you want them to look at um, anything maybe weird or specific, they may have other cost involved with the home inspection cost. So I want you to know this is something the money is going to need to be set aside and you're going to need it at the beginning of the tra transaction instead of at the end. So once you've gone pending on a home or you've gone under contract on a home, you and your real estate agent are going to work together to find a home inspector that it suits you. Now, oftentimes your real estate agent is going to have a home inspector that they typically use, but you do not have to use the home inspector that your real estate agent recommends. Now, reasons you would want to. Your, I would hope that your real estate agent has sold you know, a few houses and have done, gone through this process before, and they're gonna have a team of people that they typically would recommend to you. I would feel fine using that home inspector because there's a process, they work together often, they've seen a lot of properties together. I wouldn't think that there's anything wrong with that, but it is your house, this is your transaction, and you are the end decider of which home inspector you get to use. Say you're moving from out of state, where would you find a home inspector? You can look it up on the Google and look at the ratings. You could call them on the phone and ask them questions. What kind of questions would you like to ask them? If I were you, I would ask them, how many home inspections have they done? How do they create the report? Is it a written report? Is it a digital report? When will I get the report? What are you looking at? How much does it cost? How quick can this all happen? When can I schedule you? Questions like that. Once the home inspector comes to the house, typically that process lasts from, mm, the quickest I've ever seen is probably an hour and a half. Sometimes they go as long as four or five hours, depending on how big of a property and what they're inspecting. Now, do you need to be there the whole time? No, you don't. You could be there at the very end to get the actual report, or you could be there for the whole time, but really, you're going to be, they're not exciting, but you don't have to be there for the whole thing if you don't want to. Now, once the home inspection is completed and you paid for it, you get a copy, a written copy of it. Hopefully it's digital with a bunch of photos, and you and your real estate agent are gonna go through the report, and it's the second time to negotiate if you've, if you've put that in the contract that you can ask for repairs, that you can take that report and you can attach it to a repair addendum. Now that's why we do a home inspection, so you know a better idea of what you're buying before you close on the house. Now, an appraisal. It is oftentimes required by your lender to have one, depending on the loan type. If you're paying, for, paying cash for a house, you do not need an appraisal. An appraisal is, is a third party person who goes out to the house that you're buying with a loan and it rep represents the bank. It's a third party because the bank doesn't control it, you don't control it, the listing agent doesn't control it, the buyer's agent doesn't control it, no one is controlling this person. So they can have a third party unbiased opinion of what this house should be worth. Now, oftentimes the appraisal will happen close, closer to closing, but it has to happen before closing because we need that appraisal amount number so we can close on the loan. Now, the person typically goes to the house, the appraiser goes to the house, takes a quick look around, and then makes sure that there, are, you know, there's a checklist depending on the type of loan you're using. If it's an FHA loan or a VA, a VA loan, 
or a USDA loan, there are certain things that have to be checked off as far as health and safety that they have to make sure are correct. So they may come back to you with conditions. Conditions are, this needs to be fixed before you can fund this loan. Now, what about if an appraisal comes in high or low? Meaning it's higher than the amount that you agreed to pay for the house or it's lower than the amount. Well, in a perfect world, it comes in at value meaning they're gonna give you the money that you need to buy this house. And in an even more perfect world, it comes above, and you as the buyer automatically have equity when you close on that house. Now, in a not so perfect world, it's gonna come in low. For instance, say you buy a house that's $200,000, and the bank says the house is only worth 175. There's now a gap, and someone has to cover that gap. Either the seller reduces the price, or you as a buyer bring the gap in cash to the deal because the bank will only loan you what the appraiser says the house is worth. Now, can you negotiate somewhere in the middle there? And yes, it's another negotiation, but the bank uses that appraisal number to know what that house is worth. So that's the difference between an appraisal and a home inspection. Very different things, but they both happen in a transaction. When you use a loan, that's where the appraisal comes from, and or you pay cash, you're gonna probably do a home inspection. So I know that's a lot. This is why you want to use a local real estate agent. Go ahead, click below, go to our website to get all of your questions answered before you even reach out to us. And of course, feel free to reach out because we want to help you with your next home purchase.